Hey y'all, Brandon Renus here. So today, we're gonna talk about Colin Kaepernick. Now, if you do not know who he is, he's an NFL quarterback, uh, plays for the San Francisco 49ers, pretty solid, actually uh, went to the Super Bowl. Did not win, but had a pretty solid team. I believe it was yesterday, he decided to sit down while the national anthem was playing, instead of standing up for like everyone else. Now. I take pride in being unique and going the opposite direction. When the crowd's going one way, I take pride in going the other. And I can say, that takes some huge balls to do that. You know you're gonna get some negative press. In fact, you know you're gonna get a lot of negative press. You know you're gonna lose friends and popularity. You know you're gonna get hated on by a lot of people. And whether you like him or not for doing it, it truly, is something that you have to do with some serious thought. Now, I have really mixed feelings on this topic. Uh, let, his motivation and what he said, the reason he did it, was because he's uncomfortable with what's going on, with race wars, with he believes policemen are getting away with murder and they're not being tried properly. And this is possible. I don't know every single case. I do believe that this is blown massively out of proportion. But there is some serious race stuff going on right now, and we have huge issues with cops. There's no denying that. What what there's no denying that. Whether every single incident is, you know, pure or not, that's that's arguable. But my perspective and his differ, but I have a lot of respect for him standing up when he knows he's gonna get a tremendous amount of flack for something he believes in. I personally believe to cure this drug, uh, cop war, this race war, things like that, I believe that the issue is the drug war. I believe that the issue is the welfare state. Uh, there's a economist, I believe his name's Walter E. Williams, and he said that the welfare state has done something that racism couldn't do, that slavery couldn't do. It has destroyed the African-American family. And I think that's true. I think it's really sad. And I think when you look at the insane high percentage of uh, African-Americans that are growing up in single-family homes, it, it's really frustrating. And when you grow up in a single-family home, you're going to guarantee to have more run-ins with the law. And then we have a horrible public school system. And these kids go through this horrible public school system. Oftentimes, they drop out. They can't get a job because we have such an astronomically – well, not an astronomical – we have a minimum wage, period. So these kids now can't get a job because a, a business is forced to discriminate against a person that doesn't have the skills or the value to be worth the minimum wage. And so these kids end up doomed. And they end up on drugs, they end up selling drugs, they end up part of gangs, and then they end up fighting the law, and then the cops have less patience towards blacks because there's a higher percentage of them doing these type of things. And it just creates a huge, disastrous mess. And I, it's super frustrating. This is not, uh, you know, all cops are racist. No. But then you have to put look at it from a cop's perspective, okay? These cops have to deal with all these rules and regulations, all this insane scrutiny, and it takes the motivation away for good people to want to be a cop. Okay, you're going to get paid kind of crappy, actually really crappy. You're going to get given a gun, and your, opportunity, your job is to not get killed while trying to make other people safer, and you have to follow all these guidelines, and you have to pull people over for not wearing a seat buckle, for speeding, for doing all this ridiculous, stupid stuff. So the cop environment's unhealthy. We're creating a system where we don't, we're not looking for good cops. We're creating a system where power hungry people are looking for that job. Who wants a job where you can get yourself killed for crappy pay dealing with crappy people 24 seven? The only type of people that are looking for those kind of jobs are egotistical maniacs that want to carry a gun, walk around in a bulletproof vest and think they're big bad dudes. So our system's corrupt on both sides. We have the cops that are set up in a situation that's horrible. And then we have everybody that's coming out of this welfare state that is horrible. Like I've talked about this before and I'll try to be quick, but the welfare state I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. We have generations now of children that have grown up in government housing. Put yourself in a kid's shoes that grows up in government housing. You're surrounded by people on welfare, druggies, 
alcoholics, single parents, broken homes, horrible, horrible environment. You then go to public schools, which public schools are the worst in those areas, and then we talk about how you can drop out of school or you graduate and you try to get a job, and it's a struggle because employers are forced to not be able to hire you if your skills are not worth whatever the minimum wage is. So then you end up doing all these illegal things because you're trying to survive or you end up on the system doing the same thing over and over again and it's a revolving door. So that's that side. Then you have the cop side that's a revolving door and they're at loggerheads. So this is my opinion on the race wars we have in our country, things like this. Don't get me wrong. There are scumbag people that are racist towards black people and there are scumbag black people that are racist towards other groups. That, that's life. But this is where the real loggerhead is. And so... Although I do not agree with Kaepernick, I understand and I respect him doing what he did. I actually, I th I'm actually thinking I like it more than I dislike it. I really do. And I'm going to say it from this perspective. People, our country is so corrupt. The most corrupt possible thing you can believe that's going on in our country. Multiply it times 10 and you might be getting there. I'm serious. It is that bad. It is so flipping horrible. You have no idea. None. I mean, you have to be, unless you've been, I, I've been paying attention to politics and studying history and studying our country for a long time. I love it. It's a passion of mine. But the rabbit hole is gross. It's scary. It's disgusting. And our country is so flipping corrupt. And so I understand when he's not standing up for the national anthem, I think of the same thing. I go, hmm. We're in Iraq, we've killed over a hundred, I'm sorry, over a million people in Iraq. Most of them, well, I shouldn't say most of them, a high percentage of them are innocent men and women who never wanted us to come over there, never could have threatened us, and yet they die in their country from us because we, we want some oil, we want to keep putting pressure on Iran. So I'm supposed to stand up for my national anthem and say, I'm so proud to be an American. It's hard, guys. I challenge you, look up 9-11. Do you actually think it sincerely happened? Do you think that these terrorists came in and jumped on some planes, took them all over, threw them in a bunch of buildings, and our country, who scrambles jets and has them in the air within seconds and can shoot down planes instantly, practically, never was able to take down any of the planes. We had one that ran into the Pentagon, one of the safest, most incredible buildings ever. We have cameras everywhere all around the Pentagon. None of them seem to get a shot of the plane that flew into it. Our country is so corrupt, guys. So corrupt. And that people like him actually have the balls to stand up for what they believe in, whether I agree with him or not. I'm actually starting to think I actually, I like it. I really am. Most of us stand up and pledge allegiance to the flag. And our country was great, guys. It really was. But we're not great anymore. What we're doing to other countries is criminal. I honestly believe, and this is, Someone that was going to join the military. I was looking at joining the Marine Corps. I wanted to be special forces. I believe that America is the biggest terrorist in the world. I do. I believe we kill more innocent people worldwide than any other country. So, I'm supposed to stand up and... Pledge allegiance to the flag every time. Stand up for the national anthem at attention every single time. And if I don't, I'm going to get t attacked. And for all of you guys that want to say that Colin Kaepernick doesn't know what he's talking about, I'm not, I, again, I don't agree with him overall. Actually, I think his solutions are completely wrong. I really do. But you can look at his profile. People are using the N-word, saying that they hope he blows out his ACL. All of these horrible, crude things. There's, those are the people that have proven his point. Let's not be so quick to attack people that are going the opposite direction. If the whole flow of traffic is going one way, it's typically sheep. And if you're attacking somebody because you're, they're going against the grain, maybe you should question yourself. Are you really 
truly believe in what you believe? Or are you just following the crowd because that's what you were told? You know, we have a choice when we grow up. I grew up, we, you know, we grow up as a Republican or as a Democrat in that type of household. As a Christian or a Muslim or a Mormon or a Jew. And at a certain point, you grow up and you hit that adult stage where you actually believe you're a Republican because you're a Republican. Not because your parents told you, but because you've actually done the research. Or a Democrat or a libertarian, or a socialist, whatever it is, there's a certain point you either are following like sheep, or you actually are standing up and believing what you believe. Our country attacks those that actually think critically. Let's not be sheep, guys. Let's think on our own. Let's know why we believe what we believe. And let's, let's actually comment on things we know what we're talking about. And keep our mouth shut on topics we don't know what we're talking about. If you guys want more videos like this, people, videos where uh, you got somebody speaking their mind, speaking truth, speaking reality, not following one political party or another, not someone that doesn't have an agenda, just somebody that actually is going to speak from the bottom of his heart no matter what the topic it is, hit subscribe. If you guys like this type of stuff, hit the like button. Share this video, guys. I'm going to be doing these type of videos at least one every week. My goal is to do two or three every single week. And I'm going to be talking about different topics, politics, economics, religion, everything. And I'm just going to give a sincere, heartfelt message every single week, helping others and pointing out my own flaws, pointing out when I screw up, when I change my mind and I realize I'm wrong, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to try not to talk about topics I don't know anything about. You won't hear me talking about music or Pokemon or different things like that. You're going to hear me talking about real things that I'm passionate about, things that I educate myself on. That's all for now, guys. Subscribe. Hit the like button. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.